Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, do you see any difference uh, in my desktop over here? There's some uh, new feature that I've installed right now. All right, it's called GNOME Shell, and if you install it, just follow the tutorial. Follow me. Follow me. Follow the, follow the tutorial. Whatever. And uh, what is nice thing about it? It's really stable. I just got rid of Compass um, because of GNOME you know, Shell. It looks really good. Installation is really easy, and um, I think you have already seen a couple of videos on YouTube on GNOME Shell, so I'm not gonna show you the effects, but uh, it looks great, especially the, for the first time I've used the workspaces properly. As do you actually they've got the some some effects? There's like uh, okay, did you see the effect like minimizing and maximize effect? There are some effects, so they they're gonna build it slowly. It's still the developer preview version, so obviously you you can expect a lot in the future, and. Um, and what else uh, here we have we can search for applications astro menace like yeah and search for application whatever you want here you can browse your applications like what you had over here in the panel and and okay let's just close this here we've got your places your folders your directory your partition hard drives and here your recent recent documents you can browse your recent documents too, which is really, really good. Especially like, uh, it's good, yeah. <laughs> I really don't have to explain why it's good. You know why it's good. And here, uh, this this particular this indicator shows what's running right now. Uh, yeah, it's file browser. And if you're like uh, on Firefox, so it will show that you're using Firefox, right? So the activate is activities tab. Um, it's really good. It's very really fast. It's very really fast and it's much better than Compass. I really don't care about that and all that uh, eye candy. But if it's this smooth, uh, I'll be you know showing my friends, my Windows friends, about this uh, cool feature, and they'll be like, "Whoa! Now this doesn't look that bloaty because even my 1080p screens without good graphics card, it looks smooth right now." And even uh, my GNOME do works, so uh, that's a relief. GNOME do works. What else? Okay, let's just go with the installation. Installation is pretty easy. If you're on Kubuntu, if you're on Karmic, you know Karmicola, not the John T and Interpret, but on Karmicola, just have to type this. I'll post the this particular you know web page uh, blog link in the description box. Just check it out, and just type these you know three commands, and that's it. Uh, once you install the built dev gnome shell and install gnome shell you just have to type gnome shell gnome hyphen shell space space i mean space hyphen hyphen replace and that's replace it normally what we do is we use the emerald and compass replace now we're going to use gnome shell replace all right now obviously it will kim kill compass and then uh you can uh if you want to use it as your default if you want gnome shell as your default default uh, shell then you just have to add this particular command to your startup applications and I've shown that a couple of times I'll just try to show you again startup applications just uh, yeah launch it and then just copy this command and add you know add a new command type your command over here add that's it and it will start next time you reboot you'll get this as your default uh, display manager is not display manager yeah whatever so uh if you're using the l the stable version of ubuntu like john t jacklob interpret ibex hardy haran then you you got to download the svn version and you got to compile it and you got to install it so here uh, they have uh, the whole installation procedure you have to download the script first and then wget um the script and then you got to bash bash gnome shell you just follow the tutorial but before that uh, I want to tell you something that you have to take care of and that's this uh, when you download the gnome hyphen shell hyphen build hyphen step dot sh you open it with your text editor and uh, uh, at in the line 203 line yeah, on 203rd line you have to replace you have to add this particular add particular command Normally you'll just have dollar path and that's it, nothing else. So you gotta specify your bin directory. So you have to add home 
slash I mean slash home slash your username slash bin then save it and after that go on with your installation procedure uh, type this after you have done that you gotta build it okay here I've got another tutorial so you can just either follow this or that so you can just like build it you know type bash after that you build it build and after building it install it uh, it will compile and install it it will take some time maybe for from 10 to 15 minutes depending on your processor speed so after that you just have to type this command on your terminal window and it will replace your genome panel and use this genome shell and um, if you want this uh, uh, I want to add this in your startup applications then again you have to type slash home slash your username slash this particular command slash home slash username then this particular command and that's it you restart your system you'll, you'll get this new gnome shell I guess that's it I, I, I'll be posting this and this these both links check in the description box alright this is my default uh, panel right now okay I'm not changing it compass bye bye yeah